Winner of the 2020 Creator of the Year goes to. 2020 has been a year unlike any other. And because this is one of the last episodes of The Breakdown for the year, we wanna recap this year in creators and dole out some awards for some of the creators and moments of the year that truly deserve it. So this is our own version of an award show, something that we've wanted ever since we saw the Dundies. <laughs> the best Dundies ever! <laughs> and because our show is called The Breakdown, these awards are called the Breakies. So welcome to the first annual 2020 Breaky Awards. And as you can tell, that clip right there is not the actual audience in this room. We pulled that clip and those sounds from Storyblocks, which is the sponsor of the 2020 Breaky Awards. And we'll tell you more about Storyblocks at the end of this video after we give out all of our awards. So this is an award ceremony. We hope that you're dressed up watching this. Uh, and we are also going to change into our award ceremony attire right now. Much better. Much better. We are missing one more thing. The breakies. So without further ado, let's get into it. Watch the breakdown. 2020 was a year to remember for all creators. Watching things was one of the only things we could all really do as we were all quarantined. So that's what we did. We watched tons and tons of stuff. More people watched more videos this year than ever before. And don't fact check me on that. It's just a feeling I got. So because everyone, creators and audiences were confined to their homes, people had to get really, really creative this year. And that's why we saw a lot of innovation on the platform. Probably more innovation than we've seen in the past 10 years. And don't fact check me on that. Because there is no fact that you could even check really. Because of COVID, linear and traditional media were not able to produce their shows and movies in the ways that they're used to. Creators, on the other hand, were ready to step up and fill that void. And that's exactly what happened. And on the flip side, we saw traditional media come over to the digital space because they had no other choice. Hi, I'm Brie Larson. I'm an actor, you might know me from Captain Marvel. Our first episode of The Breakdown this year covered Late Night and talked about how late night hosts had to become YouTubers once the pandemic hit. And I had a lot shorter of hair. That is true. Okay, so here's how the 2020 breakies are going to work. We have five trophies for our main heavy hitting categories, but we have about 10 awards that we're gonna give out. Some awards we may come up with just on the spot right here because this is our show and we're gonna do it the way we want to. Is that aggressive? That was too aggressive, huh? No, that was good. Okay, I just yeah, want them to know, yeah, like, this you is our command, show. You gotta command the, command the audience. Yeah, also, I'll have you know that no one voted for these. So they are completely biased. Admittedly, we don't know that much about gaming. It's gonna feel like gaming is absent from the breakies. And it is. So our first category is Creator House of the Year. Now this year, more than any other year, we saw the rise of creator houses. Creator houses kind of operate like boy bands. It's like building one collective brand, and at the same time, you're building these individual personalities as well. There's tons of opportunity there, and audiences seem to really like the vibe of these creator houses. So I don't see them stopping anytime soon. But no matter what, ultimately, there will be one Harry Styles and one Zayn Malik. That is true. All right, now for the first official breaky Creator House of the Year 2020. The house nobody asked for. But you might've thought that we would have gone with the Sway House or the Hype House because they made huge waves or even Clubhouse, which just went through a huge acquisition. But we went with the house that nobody asked for. The house that nobody asked for and that maybe you haven't even heard of is a comedy collective based in Las Vegas made up of a diverse young cast of TikTok and YouTube creators. In a world full of creator houses that seem to take themselves too seriously, the house that no one asked for does the opposite. I just think it's the funniest house. I really liked their introduction video that had the full house branding to it. And the video specifically from Tony Phelps aimed at Bryce Hall. Hey Bryce, I know your Wi-Fi is down, so I thought I'd leave you a message. I thought was one of the best videos of the year. Throwing massive parties every weekend probably isn't the best idea right now. So congrats to the house that no one asked for. We do not have a trophy for you, but if you DM us, um, we will send you an emoji back. Our next award is the WTF of the year. This is basically the like, what were you thinking? Like what is going on? Like, come on. This award goes to Quibi. Quibi was the short form media app that launched in 2020 and died in 2020. The whole idea of Quibi was that it would have short videos consumed on your phone, but made with really big budgets and traditional Hollywood production companies. It was kind of felt like the last frontier of a company that didn't really believe in creators. Quibi's value proposition was that it was creating short form storytelling that was supposed to be consumed mobile only. Now, when you hear that description, that sounds like YouTube. 
TikTok, Instagram, all of the above. It sounds like a category that's already taken care of and it is already taken care of. And that's probably why Quibi did not last. You heard people like Mr. Beast had pitched shows to Quibi and they turned those down. So Quibi, WTF. All right, our next award is Brand Collab of the Year. And we ran out of uh, our label maker, so it just says Collab of. But you get the point. The reason why this one is important to 2020 is because one big trend we saw was brands collaborating with creators at a much bigger scale than we've ever seen before, especially because a lot of industries have become distressed due to the pandemic. And collaborating with creators and influencers is a sure shot way to bring new life to distressed businesses. We saw this happen a lot with food, but I think as we go into 2021, we'll see it with hotels, we'll see it with movie theaters, anything that's a distressed industry because of the pandemic will do collaborations with creators. A creator who emerged this year and did one of the biggest collabs of the year is our winner of the Breaky brand collab of the year, and that is Charlie D'Amelio and her collab with Dunkin' Donuts. Charlie and Dunkin' Donuts released a signature drink. You could order it by downloading the Dunkin' Donuts app. You could get it by going in person to the store. And don't fact check me on this either, but they sold a lot of drinks. A lot. Didn't they have some stat that it was like 49% increase in sales? Something like that. This tastes better than Starbucks. Okay, so Charlie, if you want to DM us to redeem your award, uh, feel free to DM us and we will ship this out to you. Congratulations. Hey, easy. That brings us right to our next award, which is D'Amelio of the Year. I'm going to go Charlie. Uh, I'm going to go Dixie. That leads us into our next category, which is the Kardashian of the Year. Kendall. Really? She's my favorite Kardashian. Always has been, always will be. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I was going to go with Addison Rae. I'm so intrigued by the fact that Addison Rae, again, another one of the biggest creators of 2020, has immersed herself into the world of the Kardashians. That feels like a very exclusive world to be a part of. That's pretty impressive to me and just shows you that she's on a skyrocket to success. You know, this was just a, this was just a category so we could talk about it. There's no real prize, I don't think. No, it was a category we just came up with right now. What's important to understand here is that Addison Rae, along with Charlie and Dixie, broke out this year, but most likely will be here to stay and will have long lasting impacts on the creator industry. The next category for the 2020 breakies is YouTube genre of the year. From news to tech, food, lifestyle, there's so many options for things that you can watch on YouTube. In my opinion, the 2020 breakie for YouTube genre of the year goes to commentary. Creators like Jarvis Johnson, D'Angelo Wallace, Tiffany Ferg, Amanda Mariana, Cody Ko, Drew Gooden. In a year when we really couldn't travel vlog, we couldn't go out, this is what YouTube was all about. Just like sitting at your desk, camera on, talking to your audience, making sense of everything that's going on. Uh, 2020 is broken. I don't know if you heard, and um, I would like my money back. I think in the future, we'll see some of these creators from commentary channels show up on late night and on linear TV. They're just so well suited to sit at a desk and deliver information. I think people would probably say gaming is another one. Sure, gaming really took off. If you saw the stats about YouTube gaming this year, like gaming clearly took yeah. off. But gaming is a really interesting genre that kind of combines commentary with this like- Immersive Immersive experience. storytelling experience. And you can actually do the thing that your favorite creator is doing as well by playing the same game. So I think that as a genre is so dynamic and will continue to grow in 2021. Okay, so this Breaky Award goes to both gaming and commentary. Next up, we have the 2020 crossover standout performance of, that doesn't make sense. No, it's just the crossover of the year. So this category is all about people who have crossed over from traditional media to digital media or digital media to traditional media. So our nominees are Brie Larson, actor who started a YouTube channel this year. Marquez Brownlee's interview with Barack Obama. Liza Koshy, who starred in a Netflix original called Work It. John Krasinski and his YouTube series, Some Good News and Logan Paul, who just announced that he'll be fighting Floyd Mayweather. And the winner for the 2020 crossover of the year, Breaky Award is... John Krasinski and some good news. Welcome to SGN. Came in hot during quarantine when we all needed some good news. Took over YouTube at the time, everyone was talking about it. He had collaborations, it was on the news, and then he sold it and got out of town. Exited real quick. I think yeah. that was four weeks. So very impressive, John. I will say a very serious runner up has to be Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather because 
It is one of the first times that I'm truly seeing everyone think about the creator landscape totally differently now. So in a year where we saw the merging of traditional and digital media, one thing that we've seen a lot more of on YouTube is live streaming. Live programming used to be something that was reserved for television, primarily in sports or award shows like this one. This year we saw Logan Paul unboxing Pokemon cards on camera, which I didn't expect that many people to be into, but a lot of people watch that live stream. We also saw David Blaine do his Ascension live on YouTube. And the winner of this year's live stream of the year goes to Mr. Beast with Creator Games 2. This broke records on YouTube. It was one of the biggest collaborations I've ever seen. You wanted to see your favorite creators and it was so simple that I hope that he continues innovating with programming on YouTube, especially live programming. And additionally, Mr. Beast has won Beast of the Year because of everything he's done. It's kind of hard to sum up, but you get it. For our next award, we actually have an award. This is the Innovator of the Year. This award stands for true, true innovation in the creator space. Someone who has pushed the boundaries of what it means to be a digital creator and is pioneering the career path for all of us. So this year's 2020 Breaky Innovator of the Year goes to David, David Dobrik. Dobrik. Now, David Dobrik had an unbelievable year, but he didn't really upload to YouTube. And I think that was innovative in itself. We saw a creator who was so native to the YouTube platform make the jump over to TikTok and not lose a step in building his brand. I'm gonna write my name on this. So if you find this dollar, do at this video and I will get your information and I will send you $10,000. He showed up this year multiple times on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. He has his own show on the Discovery Channel as well as on Nickelodeon. He broke records registering people to vote for the 2020 US election. And he also went into building his own intellectual property outside of his videos. He raised $4 million for his new app, Dispo. He also launched David's Perfume, and most recently he launched the $100,000 puzzle. This is a very, very good idea where he's selling these puzzles that have a QR code, uh, and you can essentially play a game like the lottery to find out how much money you win. And lastly, he trademarked Dough Bricks and will be opening a brick and mortar pizza restaurant in LA under that name in 2021. So David Dobrik has redefined what it means to be a digital creator and has really expanded the type of businesses that all of us can get into. All right, so David, uh, if you want to pick up your Innovator of the Year trophy, just shoot us a DM and we'll be happy to ship this out to you. And that brings us right to our next category, Creator Brand of the Year. This is a very biased opinion of ours and the winner is... Chamberlain Coffee. Chamberlain Coffee represents the future of creator merch. We're starting to see creators develop products and brands that can exist outside of their YouTube channels and YouTube audiences. The rebrand this year was phenomenal. We tried the new version of Chamberlain Coffee on our creator merch video, and it's something that I continue to drink to this day. I literally had Chamberlain Coffee this morning. So I do want to talk about platform of the year. Obviously, we saw the rise of TikTok. We saw Instagram move into Reels to try and steal TikTok's TikTok. Everyone continued to steal Snapchat with stories, fleets. But there's one platform that really stuck out. This year's breaky for platform of the year goes to OnlyFans. The thing about OnlyFans that I thought was interesting is that it really, really has normalized paid content across the board. And paid content is something- Definitely, definitely thought you were going to say it normalized something else, but- well, that too. Paid content and paid membership clubs is something that we saw a big rise of in 2020, and I think we'll continue to see in 2021. I mean, even we did some paid content this year with our online storytelling course, which is now available for buy one, gift one. If you want to market your OnlyFans, the video we made about OnlyFans is actually becoming the hottest place yeah, what is the to market your OnlyFans. Every single comment is someone marketing their OnlyFans. And that brings us to our next category, which is video series of the year. And the winner for this category is Eric and his couch series. Eric was able to see exponential growth this year, going from zero subscribers all the way past 800,000 subscribers by creating serialized content like this and collaborating at large scales. All right, our next award. This is uh, one of the biggest awards that we give out here at the Breakies. This is the video of the year. This is the second to last award of the evening, and it is going to go to... Curtis Roach's Board in the House on TikTok. 
bored in a house and I'm in a house bored. Bored in a motherfucking That was a video that came at the perfect time and was representative of what we were all going through in that very moment. It's not from a creator who had a huge following at the time, but I think that's why it resonated so much. It was extremely relatable to what we were all going through. And that's what makes storytelling so powerful. I think that it just proves that being a creator just comes down to having your phone, a Wi-Fi connection, and a really good idea. Now, Board in the House is an incredible TikTok video. There's no doubt that it came at the right time when all of us needed it. But in terms of YouTube videos, in my opinion, YouTube video of the year is the Afghanistan episode from Yes Theory. Try it. <laughs> This guy's a future director right here. He's just wants to fire him. Now this episode just totally transports us to a world that I feel like obviously is so foreign to most of us. And it was such a cool exploration of a new country, especially at a time where a lot of us can't travel to be able to travel through this video was one of the coolest things that we've seen. Bias because these guys are friends, but we do think that this was an incredible showcase of storytelling, filmmaking, and something that's really unique to the YouTube platform. All right, the 2020 breaky for creator of the year. Now this uh, right here, the, the design of this trophy is because it's- uh, It's the, a basketball it's, trophy. It's the creator dunking on everyone else. It's like, who is the creator who dunked on everyone else this year? Winner of the 2020 Breaky Creator of the Year goes to TikTok. TikTok. Unexpected, but I think that was the theme of this year. And I don't think any of us saw TikTok coming. I was tapped out on my social platforms. I felt like I was good. And then all of a sudden, TikTok came along and just dominated my life. Yo, TikTok is cool and everything, but I just accidentally clicked on a hashtag that said peacocks, and then I watched an hour and 15 minutes of peacock TikToks. Like, bro, I don't even like peacocks. And TikTok ushered in a whole group of new faces and new talent across all of the genres. If you look at the YouTube trending page, you're going to see a lot of TikTok stars. The TikTok app and the TikTok for you page was just the most enjoyable channel to watch this year. You don't even have to know who you're watching and you can open up TikTok and it's an enjoyable experience. And I think that's why we're referring to TikTok as a creator, not a platform. So uh, TikTok, if you guys want to pick this up. Come by the office. You can feel free to come by. Uh, we'll be here. We could also drop it off to you or uh, you could DM us your address and we'll make sure to ship this award out to you. Congratulations to everyone who won a breaky this year. And thank you to all of you who've been watching the breakdown all year. It's been awesome to make this show for all of you guys. And it's been awesome to have the support, not only from you, but from brands like Storyblocks. Great segue, Samir. Thank you, Colin. Storyblocks is an amazing tool for creators. They have everything from video to music, sound effects, and even after effects templates. You can literally make a whole video with just the content you find on Storyblocks. With their unlimited all access plan, you can use all of the content you find on Storyblocks royalty free on YouTube, as well as all the other social platforms that you're using. They also have flexible subscription plans, so you can find the plan that works for you. Before we even started working with Storyblocks, we use them across a ton of our creative projects. They are an amazing resource for creators. And they're the sponsor of this year's Breakies. Uh, all those shots that you guys saw, stuff that really made it feel like an award show, those were all from Storyblocks. Storyblocks supports us and creators like us, so we hope that you support them. Two, you can head to storyblocks.com slash Colin and Samir. The link is in the description to sign up. 2020 was a really crazy year for all of us, but I do think that sharing stories across these platforms brought us a little bit closer together and made the year just a little bit better. So if you feel like we missed an award or if you want to give out one of the awards that we gave out to someone totally different, put that in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Again, we are fairly limited in what we watch and what we cover here on The Breakdown and we'd love to expand that. So feel free to put that in the comments. So that was the 2020 Breakies. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking and thank you for being here tonight with all of us. Good night. really intense. I was just going to say goodbye. Thanks for coming. See you next year. We got a couple more videos coming out. Watch the breakdown. I got a few things, but if you need a dollar bill in your blue jeans, I'm going to throw it to you, honey, like I'm Drew Brees. I'm just happy that my crib got two cents.